I'm going to be showing you guys the best uh, roulette system for beginners. This is how you can make easy money. This is how you can make easy money, alright? Just bear with me here. I'm going to be studying the table, the patterns. 23, 12, 9, 9. Starting bankroll is 1,000 IDR, which is rupees. I gamble in a lot of different casinos. Red 21. Alright. I'm going to go one unit here, one unit here. This is the Velocio method. This is the easiest uh, strategy for any beginners to implement on a roulette. Make easy money. Total bet is 200 IDR. We're going to see what happens. We're going to stick to the uh, same amount of unit. The goal here is to be profitable on the capital. We're treating it as an uh, investment. And that's how exactly you should be treating it. It's a very cool roulette table. I like the lights. I'm a pretty dealer. What number is that? Red 3? Can barely see. Oh, nice. Ref 14. There you go. I'm up another 100 IDR. I'm going to continue with the strategy. All right. So, the logic behind the strategy, the velocity method, is basically each row is covered uh, on the table 30%. There's three rows with four total 99%. The zero is 1%. If the ball lands on one row, you want to uh, go against that row. Especially if the ball lands multiple times on that same row, your odds and probabilities of hitting uh, increases. This is literally the easiest method to execute and uh, to win money online when it comes to European roulette. For beginners. The system is specifically, you know, for beginners. You can use it to bridge, uh, you know, to, to compound and bridge on the advanced strategies. But for the most part, it's a very nice strategy. Rest 16, that's another win. There you go. Now I'm up 200 uh, IDR. I started with uh, 10,000. I'm positive 200 and basically that, that's the easiest way of making money of winning money on the European roulette table um, you implement the velocity method like I've always said in the past this uh, roulette game is a game of you know probabilities and statistics and when I mean about probabilities and statistics um, I'm basically explaining that <coughs> for the most part, you want to go at times. I'm not saying you want to go always against uh, the probabilities, but you want to go, you know, I'll give you a good example. I was actually going to tell you guys to pick black because you see this uh, red trend here. So basically... You want to follow your intuition, and uh, for the most part, you don't want to gamble like a degenerate, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Go with the probabilities. Now, I'm not saying not always, because here's the thing. You know, right now, they just changed the dealer. But here's the thing, and the reason why they change the dealer every 30 minutes is because, uh, you know... Every dealer has a dealer signature move. Here's the thing. If you were to mark and deal, for example, on red, starting on the third time that the red has come out, you guys see this little trend right here of red on the bottom. Uh, you probably would have spent a lot of money just to reach black. And that's why this requires a large bankroll. I've said this over a thousand times. If you're gonna if you're gonna gamble 
If you're going to, you know, use strategies, advanced strategies, even beginner strategies, you, you need a large bankroll. Don't just, you know, uh, gamble with like 100 bucks thinking that you can survive, you know, 10 straight losses. You actually can um, if you're gambling like $1 per unit, but, you know. There's no point in that because at the end of the day, it's about making money. Um, this system right here <coughs> is, uh, I like the system a lot because it's, it's very safe for beginners. I don't use it like when I'm at the casinos. I don't really use it that much, to be honest, because I like more advanced strategic systems because systems like this, Beginner systems are, are basically priming you up to, you know, earn one unit. You're risking two units to earn, to win one unit, and you'll be up another unit, po one po positive unit. Advanced systems are designed for you to risk five units, six units to earn 30 units. Because in European roulette, you're getting paid 36 to 1 odds, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That's what it is. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, you guys can uh, go ahead give the system a try. It's easy money. Go with the trends. Sometimes go against the trends. You're going to have to make your own uh, informative, educated decision. Uh, but it's pretty easy due to the laws of probabilities. Like I said, the, the uh, probabilities of a ball landing on the same roll three times. All right, three times in a row, it's over 1,401 against you. That means it's very difficult for that to occur. Especially if the, uh, if you're, you know, if you're being tactical, strategic, and diligent. 